Funding for the production of Folks is provided in part by the Friends of LPB. You're listening to just one of the many talented artists from this year's Trujillo de Beaux National Piano Competition. Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Hinton. And I'm Genevieve Stewart. Today on Folks, we're bringing you a listener's delight of beautiful music. It's our way of wishing you a happy Mother's Day. So sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy our special treat for you today on Folks. Everybody says folks. The Georges de Beau's National Piano Competition had its rather simple beginnings on Southern University's Baton Rouge campus. Back in 1974, it began as a local competition among piano students to improve their level of proficiency. Now, this national competition has attracted 275 participants from all across the United States. Tourget de Beaux graduated from Fisk University with music honors that led him to a full academic career. He studied piano at the Oberlin Conservatory and the Juilliard School of Music. Malalou Turner was one of Turgé de Beau's students. Turgé de Beau was what I, what I would consider a master teacher. He was very demanding on his students. Um, he demanded that we work on technique, that we work on every aspect of playing piano, of taking our time and learning what he had was trying to, do, to teach us. Myrtle David is the coordinator of the Tourget de Beaux piano competition. And we named the competition for Tourget de Beaux because he was assembled to not only Southern University but to the music profession. And more specifically, he was assembled for music and the profession throughout the whole state of Louisiana as well as throughout the Southern region. Many years ago, he came to Southern University after having taught in some other university settings. Wasn't Tour J. DuBose an accomplished concert artist as well as being a phenomenal teacher? Tour J. DuBose was very fortunate to have been taken by a rather well-to-do family at one point as a young man and given education at Fisk University, then a private school, and then subsequently motivated and sponsored to go to Oberlin, which was also very exclusive and very outstanding in the music world. And he studied there, and his efforts and his development subsequently sent him to Europe to study. And he became quite a exponent of the Cato technique and several other grandmasters during that time. And so he returned to the United States in high hopes of developing a concert career. But the time, again, just like many artists who came from that time prior to the Harlem Renaissance and since, uh, we had to make other adjustments, you see. And, but even in making those adjustments, he was able to maintain the concert manner as far as his expectations were concerned, as far as his expectations of students that he taught. And he subsequently just continued. He taught, but he still did perform all of the time. In 1982, the DuBose National Piano Competition began a new category for young artists. The first winner of that category was Joel Martin, then age 16, of Princess Anne, Maryland. Joel is a recipient of many music awards. His most recent achievement is appearing as featured soloist with the Philadelphia Symphony Orchestra back in January. Let's now listen to Joel Martin, the first winner of the Young Artist Series.
That was Joel Martin of Princess Anne, Maryland, the winner in the Young Artist Series last year. What you are now about to hear are some of the winners from this year's competition.
our program for this week. Congratulations to all of this year's winners. Next week on Folks, our program will focus on minority businesses. Until that time, so long. Funding for the production of Folks is provided in part by the Friends of LPB.